Hi readers, welcome back to For the Love of Reading with me, Justin. A couple things as we get started. Thank you to everybody who's been watching the videos on Mondays and Fridays. Your feedback means so much to me and I love that you're loving the books. Secondly, thank you for the book recommendations. If you have any book recommendations, put them in the comments down below. My list is growing and I can't wait to get to your books. In fact, Today's book, Dojo Daycare, was a book recommendation. Thank you, Maria Madalena, for your book recommendation. I loved it. It was a fun and silly book, and I never would have known about it without you. So thank you so much. Now, I think that I've told you this before, but just to make sure, I'm a school teacher, and I've been a school teacher for a long time now, and I love it. I love getting to work with students, helping them to learn and grow, helping them to push themselves and overcome difficulties, helping them to challenge themselves. I love what I do. But I don't love everything about it. There are some tough days, days when the students just kind of make bad choices. Now, bad choices are a part of life and we take those opportunities and we learn from them and we grow and we learn how to respect ourselves and other people, how to be part of a community and how to show love. But I don't always remember that in the moment. And sometimes I lose my patience or I get frustrated or I just don't know what to do. Sometimes your teacher doesn't know what to do either. And that's just a part of being a person is not knowing what to do all the time. Well, in our book, Dojo Daycare, I very much understand the teacher in this book because he is having a hard time with his students not listening and making bad choices. I wonder what he's going to do. Maybe his strategy can help me in my classroom. So let's go find out together. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Hi, readers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends and family. And now, Dojo Daycare by Chris Tugas. Hiya! When ninja moms and ninja dads leave their hidden ninja pads, they drop their children off to play at Dojo Daycare for the day. Shoes removed, the children bow, when suddenly, kaboom, kapow! Little ninja girls and boys fighting over ninja toys, pulling, pushing, tugging, taking, punching, kicking, busting, breaking. It's a full-blown ninja riot. Master claps and calls out, Quiet! It's time for you to all reflect on honor, kindness, and respect. The master sounds the gong, kabong. Lunch is served. But things go wrong. Before they gobble down their chow, the dojo shakes. Kaboom! Kapow! Little ninjas all competing over plates and cups and seating, tipping chairs and acting rude, fighting over ninja food. It's a full blown ninja riot! Master claps and calls out, Quiet! It's time for you to all reflect on honor, kindness, and respect. We're going to read a story now, when suddenly, kaboom, kapow!
No one listens to the master. Story time is a disaster. Little ninjas throwing fits, wrecking books with ninja kicks. Master can't control the riot. Then one little voice yells, Quiet! It's time for us to all reflect on honor, kindness, and respect. Every ninja understands, and fists turn into helping hands. As little ninjas work as one, undoing all that they have done. Together, ninja girls and boys stack the books and store the toys. They clean the dojo through and through until it looks as good as new. The little ninjas give a bow, master bows and whispers, Wow! When ninja kids and moms and dads go back home to ninja pads, they share some laughs and have a bite and wash and brush and hug good night. Then backflip into comfy beds and rest their sleepy ninja heads. All is calm, at least for now. Tomorrow, well, kaboom, kapow, bye, ya. What a great book. Thanks again, Maria, for your book recommendation. And how interesting that it wasn't the teacher who fixed the problem, it was one of the students. I bet that made the teacher feel amazing. Like he'd really made a difference in this kid's life. And I bet that student felt amazing because he took leadership and he helped other people to make good choices. And I bet that made the ninja parents feel amazing because their children helped to clean things up and put things back together. Wow. What a difference that little ninja made. I wonder about you. I wonder how you can help your friends at school or your teachers or your brothers or sister or mom or dad or even your puppy dog. I wonder how you can go and show love and respect and make amazing choices this week. Well, while you think about that, I'm going to go grab a book, good book. You go grab a good book, and we'll sit down and enjoy for the love of reading. See you next time.